Welcome back. Um, this video is probably just going to be a bunch of Weird Al. Um, I'm going to go through, this would be going through my CDs part 3. And the next chunk here is just, there's lots of Weird Al. Like a bigger amount than what I've gone through so far. So I'm going to grab these out here. First, I'll grab out these 80s ones. We'll try to go through it fast so it's not too much. Um, got the self titled album in 3D. Dare to be stupid. Polka Party. Oh, and this, I have Peter and the Wolf, which was, it's hard to find. This was expensive, man. I don't know why, but for some reason Weird Al hasn't been able to get, like, I don't know if he struggles with it or anything, but I don't think he has the rights to, like, put out any kind of re-release of it or repressing because it's just something to do with CBS. Yeah, CBS owns it, and I don't know why you wouldn't want to re-release something. They probably would get a lot of money from it, too. The next I have, even worse. And the next thing is actually Greatest Hits. It's just, which I always found weird, he's only been going at the whole album thing for like five years and then there's a greatest hits from it would just be from 83 to 88 and that just strikes me as odd i guess he wasn't a big fan of compilations and stuff but it just still happened he signed a contract that involved that um next i have uhf <clears throat> now i'm going to dig into his 90s stuff Oops. Oh. All right. All right. So first here I have off the deep end. And then another compilation, the food album. <clears throat> it's all the food songs to this point that he did. And then the next album, Alapalooza. I kind of wish the food album came out after this because then it could have, you know, it could have Talk Soup on it. It could have Living in the Fridge. It could have Waffle King. Those are some really good food ones. Then, even though it's only been two more albums since the last Greatest Hits, there's Greatest Hits Volume 2, which I think is... I don't get it. I don't get why there's Part 2 so soon. Um, then the TV album, another compilation. Oh, and then I have a single thrown in here. It's the Gump single. And it looks like the Presidents of the United States who did Lump, like their album cover. I don't think that many people are familiar with how their stuff looked. Um... It has Gump, of course. The Spy Hard theme song. Since You've Been Gone, Since You've Been Gone, the karaoke version. An instrumental of Colin and Sick. And then two other mixes of Spy Hard. Which, before Medium Rarities came out, this was the only place where you could get that weird karaoke, Since You've Been Gone. So that was kind of cool. I got it before that, I'm pretty sure. Next is another album, Bad Hair Day. Which I think, like, I like all his stuff, but I think this is when he started just doing some really genius stuff. Like, like, way more genius stuff. <clears throat> and then Running With Scissors. It's my last CD of him from the 90s. From 99. 
then I will get out... I'm going to get out the 2000s and 2010 stuff together, because it kind of just... There was less then, and it just kind of goes together for me. Poodle hat. This is a really good one. Genius in France is a really... It's like... It's an epic song. Like, it's so long, and it just... It keeps you entertained the entire time. Then... Hardware store. That's a really... That's like bizarre. That's a weird one. Angry White Boy Polka, which... Up to this point is... Could be my favorite polka. Maybe, maybe like my second or third. I have no idea. I really like the polkas, though, which most people... Are more into, like, the parodies or originals or... Style parodies, but... I think they're, I think they're neat. Then, why does this always happen to me? It's a Ben Folds style parody, but Ben Folds actually came and recorded the piano for the track, so it's really, it's a really complex thing. And then, what else? Bob. The song Bob's is the style parody of Bob Dylan, which, um, every single line in the song is a palindrome. So that album is definitely a super genius one. Then I have the CD single of White and Nerdy. Um, and I have the album Straight Outta Linwood. I think Poodle Hat is my favorite one, I'm just realizing. Um, then I have Alpocalypse. And then the last album, Mandatory Fun. And then this video is not over yet, because I have some other things. I bought this Simpsons compilation because it has the Weird Al song, um, wait, which one's on here? Homer and Marge is on here. It's track 16. So I bought this to put that, to get that. In a more official way than just like downloading it off YouTube or something. Then this album, MC Lars, True Player for Real. Or, wait, that's the single. MC Lars, This Gigantic Robot Kills. And Weird Al is on the song, True Player for Real. Oh, and then this. Uh, Dog Train by Sandra Boynton. This is a CD. It was sold as just a CD like this, but it also, you could buy the book, and it would have the CD in the back in a little slot. I have both, um, but I figured I'd just show this here. He's on the song I Need a Nap, which is track 8. And this. Um, ben Folds' song for Sim Songs for Silverman. He is on... He's on a song on here. He's on track 10. It's called Time. And he's a backing vocalist on that. So that's why I bought that CD. And then after I bought that, I actually got into Ben Folds. Like, he has some really good piano. <clears throat> and then this is the last thing that I have bought. And it's, I, I don't decide. I mean, I've decided not to open it. It's just, um, Captain Underpants soundtrack. And he did the theme song, which is just track one on here. So... <sighs> that is all of my Weird Al. Hope you enjoyed this Weird Al video. <clears throat> um, till next time. The next one's just gonna be a bunch of Weezer stuff, pretty much. <laughs>